Hello there, ladies, gentlemen and unicorns. Welcome to another stream of your second favorite Twitch streamer. I, at least this is the best case scenario for me. Welcome and good evening, uh, provided it's also evening on your end. First, um, there is video. I hope there is audio. I can see some microphone levels because today I felt like a daredevil and didn't do any tests beforehand because I was uh, almost a little late today. But I think, yes, Lady Miss assures me both audio and video are good and Mr. Julius is also here. Good evening! Wonderful! Also uh, Red Herman says video and audio are okay so I'm looking forward to what kind of technical difficulties we'll be experiencing later probably. <laughs> so today's program is I still got some Ludum Dare 47 games of my dear patrons on my bucket list and those I'll be playing today plus a special game and uh, right away it's one of uh, my followers on Twitter. It's uh, a game that's uh, from Preda and he always had a hard time uh, as, as far as I know finding team uh, members uh, and there was always something going wrong and I thought yeah maybe maybe I should throw him here a, a bone and also play Preda's game. And another shout out uh, is let me quickly oh Preda is also here I can't really find a problem with the stream. Wonderful! <laughs> we will find out which <laughs> which problems might arise later on. So let me switch over to uh, the screen here. Yes, Ludum Dara 47 is finally behind us. After the last stream we still had a day or two of voting and so the results are in. And I'm uh, also surprised by the number of submissions. It's not as many as we've had. I think last time we had like over 4,000 submissions. But uh, still 3,206 submissions is uh, uh, quite something. Especially if you consider that those are the games that have been yeah, submitted and finished of 6,000 signups. So it's a, yeah, about 50% of the people who uh, signed up also finished and submitted their game, which I think is pretty is a, is, is, is a pretty uh, good statistic. And unsurprisingly, 100% of the entries were games. Uh, I wonder if someone makes a tool or a craft uh, uh, or a board game or anything like this in the future, but I don't think that the website is really suited for, for this kind of games because it's really hard to have others try your craft, for example. So you might have problems there with the ratings. So yeah, unfinished, it says here, uh, 92 games. So, and I'm not quite sure what warm ups is, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I just thought uh, those statistics are interesting and also Pretty much exactly one quarter was uh, doing the compo, which I'm a big fan of, mostly because I can't work with people. I really can't. Well, it's not that bad. <laughs> I worked very well with Max uh, back then, but, but for me, I just like the compo best. Okay, and yeah, another thing that I want to shout out right now is from a patron and friend of the show, uh, Lilo Cormick. Uh, their game Domino House is out and I was lucky to be able to play it when it launched. By the way, it launched at a discount, so you might, if you're interested in this kind of uh, Tim Burton-esque, as I feel it, it's it's not a hidden object game entirely, it's not an adventure game entirely, it's just a nice puzzly experience and it really tests your uh, observation skills and how you can deduce uh, weird and cryptic hints. Uh, it's completely solvable and it takes you around, I would say, two to three hours maybe, one hour if you're really fast and easy uh, or very good at picking up things. But uh, yeah, I've, I've had a very pleasant experience with this game. So it's a shout out to Domino House because um, yeah, indies need all the help <laughs> that you can get, uh, that they can get. And like I said, I, I feel that this is, this is a very nice game. And look at this, it also got achievements. So uh, I hope they work now. Cool. So which games in what order am I going to play today? And um, this is why I tried implementing a little bit more in the game bot. Well, not game bot, in the Twitch bot. I'm, I'm still thinking of games. So if you enter exclamation mark and Q, um, then yeah, we should get a list of all the games in their order, which I'm going to be playing today. Like I said, I'm, I'm having quite a blast with uh, 
implementing new little commands to my Twitch bot. I mean, it's just a big switch statement, so it's it's not rocket science, <laughs> but it's it's still fun if it provides this kind of little service there. Um, Red Herman says, Phil, your channel chat isn't showing up on your screen template layout, which is fine if all our gibberish uh, is distraction to the final stream recording. Uh, actually, it's not. I want to have it in there. I'm wondering why it's not working, because it's clearly... Oh, oh, right. Sorry, I'm, I'm, looking, at, I'm looking at the wrong window. Browser now playing... This makes sense now. Let, let me quickly do a hotfix <laughs> right here. Just uh, copy filters, no copy ludum. Da. I'm, I, really, it's paste reference. There we go. Um, this was the wrong camera. Hello, it's me in big, but actually this is what we want. Let me, let me just quickly try it. And yes, it, now it's, it, it should be working. This looks good. Thank you so much. Uh, I think this is a big problem also with the previous recordings I would assume that none of those showed up so I'm, I'm really sorry it, it just occurred to me that apparently I didn't paste it here in my Ludum Dare uh, template there in OBS so apologies uh, uh, if, if, if you've said anything in the past three <laughs> streams uh, that uh, you feel uh, really should be kept for posteriority posterity one is your bottom and the other is for people that come after us. Anyway, if you want to keep something in the archived stream and be sure to shout it out now because like right now it looks like it's working. Lady Missleaf says, I go get pizza, be right back. It's, it's funny because also my wife just had jasmine tea and right now she's, she's making some pizza for herself. So I hope uh, maybe I get some as well. But uh, never fear, I got coffee and look at this. It's my Pac-Man coffee mug. I like this so much. Mm. Red Hermit said, no, the previous ones worked. At least I think so. Um, yeah, I have to check it. I think I have the impression that it worked. But again, I'm totally new to streaming. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like the dog in the meme. I don't know what I'm doing. So um, as long as you can hear me, as long as you can see me, I think this is a big win. At least for me, for you. Maybe not if you can see and hear me, but here we are. Thank you so much for dropping by. Breda says, I looked at all the stats that were tracked of Ludum Dahl before. It was always 100% games. Is there a point of crafts, demos or tools? Uh, how do you even set the type of the entry? I think this is something that's just a stub in the code, maybe. Because I don't know, I all... The options that I found for are just for submitting games, but I think the plans were that Ludum Dar is a bit more inclusive of different types of media that could be submitted. But as of now, apparently, it is not. So it's 100% games always, anyways, for all future. Well, probably not for all future, but right now it's just, just games. I want this comment to be engraved in history. Let me get out my chisel and a big slab of stone that I can... <laughs> Can chisel it into a comment and I, I, sometimes I wonder uh, if, if anyone in the future will have a look at what's being said just in the moment on Twitch in a hundred years and people, historians will look at Twitch comments to figure out what the current zeitgeist is, what was happening in our times and probably because they are tired of Twitter and Facebook and they just look at Twitch <laughs> because, uh, yeah, because reasons, we all know it. Wonderful. Okay, so without much further ado, with me it's always a lot of ado before doing anything. Um, let me bring up uh, the games um, that are still unplayed as of right now. And this is my beautiful list here. That's, oh my god, I love spreadsheets and this one is looking wonderful. So the green ones I've played in previous streams, the yellow ones are still to be played and there are more green ones. And for anyone interested, no, sorry, I'm not uh, accepting any more submissions. I want to get this wrapped up. Uh, as always with me, it's tradition that I make three streams uh, with games that are picked randomly and every other game is from, from one of my patrons. And... I'm blessed with so many patrons that I don't manage to get all the, their games uh, in three sessions. So this is what we're doing today. It's just patrons as games, but even if you're not a patron and look at this, seven viewers, so the chances are that 
that there are only patrons. So if your game uh, is not going to be played, I hope this is still interesting to you. And if anything, uh, you probably see some very interesting and uh, enlightening, perhaps, uh, game concepts or game mechanics that you can steal blatantly later on for your own gain and benefit. Wonderful. Okay, so let's start here with the first one. And again, I need to do a lot of bookkeeping there. Well, it's not so much bookkeeping, it's just copy and pasting things around because now this is the wrong thing here. Copy, paste that the insert should update. It did. And uh, look at this. Uh, the font apparently even uh, works with this A with a donut on it. I'm not quite sure. Uh, this must be, I think, Swedish. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. It's usually when I come across this one here, I pronounce it like a, a mix between an A and an O. So it's Sporwagen. This is how I would pronounce it. So probably completely off, but at least maybe you had a chuckle trying <laughs> or listening to me how I would pronounce it. The on-screen uh, chat is a little bit off. Uh, yeah, this explains it. Apparently I, I have deleted it previously and now that I just copy pasted it, it's on top of everything. Let me quickly fix this. Again, another hotfix. This is game development, ladies and gentlemen, unicorns just doing hotfixes as things are rolling. So chat should be aligned a little bit better. Thank you for pointing this out. Um, wonderful. Let me try to catch up on the chat. Lady Miss Liv said, I said unicorn water. This is true. Whenever I say unicorn, let's have a fun a drinking game where we all have a sip of water. And as you can see here, I already had some water today. My God, this is like a mirror cabinet. Wonderful. I already had some water today. This is all the water today that I had uh, because I'm, um, yeah, horribly dehydrated pretty much my whole life. So if I look like a dry potato, this is why. But then I had some coffee today and I will have some more later or during the stream. So this is wonderful. And yes, Red Hermit found out <laughs> um, the chat command for Unicorn. Uh, yeah, the dry potato, you probably, uh, there's this, this fun little meme where this dehydrated potato and uh, this is always what I think that I look like in the morning when I didn't have any water the day prior and you wake up completely dehydrated and really thirsty. Let me um, dry potato. Yes, this is me googling dry, put dry potato meme uh, on, on a live stream because yeah, this is the point that I'm at right now. Because there's going to be a new lockdown. <laughs> soon. So, um, wonderful. I found the dry potato meme. View image. And okay, how do I get this bigger? The, yeah, wonderful. I just make a screenshot and open it in my image editor. This is the dry potato. This is how I look like in the morning when I didn't have enough water. Okay, with that out of the way, finally, let's look at games. So, Sporwagen. Again, apologies for butchering any language. There is even English, as you know me. How to pronounce your name? A dusty room. Did I say dust room before? It's dusty room. And I'm not quite sure if dusty room is present today. So let me shout out on Twitter if I find the correct, there we go, the correct uh, window. And okay, there, there is my Notepad++, plus plus. hey Dust Room, I'm streaming your LD Jam game right now. Tweet. Perfect. So, um, tell me your Patreon username, yes, and the link to the game and anything else you want to tell me is just an upside down smiley. So I'm not quite sure how to interpret this, but yeah, we will have to find out what Sporwagen is all about. And here's, uh, by the way, in the chat pasted the link. Sporwagen, I would assume. Creating a safer commute uh, for the many people. Okay, so, oh my god, this looks amazing already. This looks like a mini metro, micro metro with uh, graphics. 
Click on trams to stop or launch them. Avoid collisions when the tram makes a loop. It takes one person aboard from Circle's tram stop. The level ends when all the people take a ride. Controls, mouse click. Okay, so this, again, this looks wonderful so far and uh, almost a bit complicated then. But yeah, we will see how, how this plays then. Again, really, really enjoy the graphic style. It's very minimalist, but um, you probably know me that each time when I see colors, I just can't turn off my colorist little voice that I have shouting in the back of my head. And um, my rule of thumb always is when it comes to games, with how little colors can you communicate something? Because in the end, you always will end up with more colors than you probably would probably fit in a beautiful, nice, balanced color scheme because you probably need more colors. But yeah, if you try to limit those uh, as much as you can, um, you're on a good track. At least, at least my my opinion. Yeah, um, the one thing that I wanted to check out, by the way, is um, the results. And look at this, it's overall 14th, it's graphics 25th, which I feel, just from looking at the screenshots, already well deserved. I think they could have even ranked better, I feel, because they're just so, so spot on. Apparently it's not very innovative, uh, we shall find out, and it's not funny. It is really it is not funny, but but maybe we have something to laugh about. Okay, this was <laughs> this was very mean spirited of me. <laughs> um, yeah, let's let's find out Sportwagen, and it got a nice icon there. Always always a big fan of nice icons. Is this the IKEA catalog style, the IKEA manual graphic style? Already love it. I mean, it looks like an IKEA thing, right? Sportwagen, creating a safer commute for the many people. Goid, 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 Okay, this is an IKEA manual. I love this. So, don't have the trams crash. And you can use a capsule collider with an upside-down ghost sprite to move them around. This is good to know. Oh, look at this. This is gorgeous. Some Z fighting going on, but I think this is fine. Okay, so what do I do here? Right now I'm doing nothing at all. And so with each loop, as the rules go. Okay, so if I click one, then I can stop it and pick it up again. This is super simple. This is super simple and very nice. What if it the red one comes here to this stop and there is nothing? Okay, then it's 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 fine. Nice! Nice! I didn't do much, but I think things might get problematic here. So there might be a crash. And look at this, it even got exclamation points when the new Oh nay! I think this is oh no. <laughs> And it even lets me allows me to start at the same level again. So um, then I will just hold the blue one here and then have it click again. Okay, so those are those thought they would crash. Okay, so this one I I think now this is what the game wants me to look at. Pretty much everything at once. Okay, good. So. There might be a crash with the blue one again, and this blue one. Okay. Okay, so I think I got a rough idea how this game wants to be played. And it's an attention management game, in a sense. Okay, so I think I'm getting the hang of this. I only have to manage, essentially, these two crossings here and maybe I keep this one here behind a bit and this one as well so that they don't bunch up just to be sure
Oh, this this was already the level. Nice. Okay, so this looks like a problem here. So I will keep the red trains here. I think the biggest problem is yeah to keep the red trains apart. Uh, yeah, it's, it reminds me also a bit of Snake in a sense that... Oh, no, no, no! Oh, good. <laughs> it reminds me a bit uh, of, of Snake that uh, you always also have to manage your tail. So... Maybe if I just manage the blue one. But the music and the sound is very soothing and like I said, the presentation is super nice. It's super spot on. This is very, very well made. And also the controls, I mean... It's just clicking or tapping. Wonderful. This is one of those games that you can play after a long stressful day. Nice. It may be a bit too stressful in later levels, who knows. But uh, okay, look at this. Um, Okay, so those share the same tracks here. This is good to know and probably hard to manage. At least uh, they all go at the same speed then. Okay. Uh-oh. Um, yes, let the blue one pass here, the red one. So it's more, uh, you're a train conductor in a sense that you just to have, have to make sure that no, not one crashes. There we go. I think I need to hold the red one back here a bit. Yes, okay. And also this red one here, the blue can go around and then... Huh. I think, I think I'm getting the hang of this because what I'm doing is just stopping the trains when I'm feeling overwhelmed. Stop, stop, go, go, go. Okay, I'm barely managing my attention right now, but it works. Let's stop this one here. Oh, probably not. Let's not stop this. Let's not stop this here. Okay, so the, the red trains really need to come through now because otherwise they're bunching up so I just have them stop here and here and here then just keep the blue trains running because I think I only need this one blue person there yes okay cool this is this is nice congratulations okay so this was this was Sporwagen nice this was very nice cool uh, the presentation, like I said, is top-notch and the game concept is super easy to understand and uh, hard to manage, essentially. But I also think I found some exploits <laughs> and I got already some ideas. So um, the exploit that I think that I found is that essentially you can just stop all the trains and only if, you, if you're really bad at multitasking uh, you can just have two trains running or just one and then you just stop them because there is no penalty for strop stopping the trains i think on later levels it would make sense if you can only halt a train for uh, let's say like five seconds or so so this would probably make it a bit more frantic in a sense and another idea that I had uh, during playtime was maybe there are some lines like the red lines or the blue lines just one of those where you can't stop those always go around in circles so it's you only you only can manage for example the blue trains um maybe yeah something something like this or maybe they go uh, in also in later levels maybe some go at different speeds one is just a slightly bit faster or slower or something so um yeah just anything to mess with uh, how you would expect things at a, a subconscious level where you think yeah they go all the same speed maybe there are just some sections where the tram uh, is allowed to accelerate something like this so it's where it's not as predictable i think in the same vein this could 
easily easily be a bit too taxing and too frantic and then get frustrating so i think it would be all about this this curve in terms of yeah how to ramp up the difficulty and at what stage where you think yeah i can't throw any more trams at it that go uh, concurrently <laughs> so um yeah i think this might be the biggest design problem from my standpoint but so far i mean this is it's really a very nice game and i can see this as it is just some more levels to it as a mobile game so yeah two thumbs up and i love love the swedish presentation so what's going on in the chat if there would be a mechanic where the passengers get angry that would probably make it uh, more interesting yes of course maybe if you keep them waiting for too long for the train um this yeah this would also be be interesting yeah i, I, I like this idea so this was sporwagen again i'm sorry for mispronouncing my swedish is not as polished as my polish uh yeah this was a joke perhaps <laughs> spot of welcome. very nice very nice wonderful so the next one let me uh no row to sheet row to sheet there we go and also let me update the insert we need to talk we need to talk this already sounds a little problematic like some crisis management game perhaps and more pixels says thanks for playing yeah thank you you're, you're welcome it's playing games is the easy part <laughs> of this all of this uh, uh um ink and Imbola. it's my game by the way oh so you're there and i just tweeted at you so uh thank you so much for uh dropping by and and following the, the chat uh, live and let me let me just scroll up if you've uh, uh, made fun of my pronunciation but so far uh you just said check check so i think <laughs> i think i'm good oh the next one the next one so this is your game stanislav demchenko is you then okay now i got it <laughs> how to pronounce your name don't bother so i'm sorry that i said stanislav demchenko your name is apparently don't bother this is a weird pronunciation for i would assume that st starts and then you go don't anyway so about the game this game oh let me first copy and paste the link in the chat this game is an experiment both in terms of mechanics and the topics that it touches i was afraid of this type of game will not appeal to the audience but i received a lot of positive feedback so i wonder how you react to this i wonder as well the game is dialogue based and english is not my native language so you can encounter various mistakes sorry about that in advance uh, my, english is also not my mother tongue so you probably won't recognize or yeah see any of those errors anything else you want to tell me you and your videos were my inspiration to start making games so thank you for everything you're doing um my god this is great so yeah you're welcome and as i always say in the end uh it's i i just do some weird videos in the end it's you what you make of this inspiration so and apparently you're making games which is great and i give you already two thumbs up this is this is nice thank you so paste we need to talk and we also got some 3d graphics and a beautiful unity skybox oh it's and it's courage and this one here so apparently it's from from all that i know for, of, of the game uh, this looks like yeah you're trying to propose and you need to get up your courage that you can propose i think this this is nice we need to talk is a short narrative driven game a mixture of dialogue and card games this is interesting the story reveals around the married couple stuck on a ferris wheel on their 10th anniversary uh, okay so it's more about trying to stay married <laughs> at any stage of the conversation you can use a card to open new speech options the game was inspired by dialogues in disco elysium and fallout new vegas it has a branching dialogue tree and three endings the only way to win the game is to be honest with yourself. Controls are mouse and escape for pause. The game was created in 48 hours for Ludum 47 Compo by Stanislav Temchenko. I used some pre-existing code written by myself. Other than that, everything was created from scratch. Tools used Unity 3D, Houdini for modeling. I didn't know you could model in Houdini. I always thought that this was just some kind of procedural generation tool, but then again, Houdini has been around for a long time, so yeah, apparently you can model in Houdini. What can't you do in Houdini? 
Adobe Photoshop for the UI, Cubase for music, Adobe Audition for the sound design and DSP Motion for sound generation. So apparently uh, your game rated extremely high in mood and it's also quite fun. And the what's what's the worst rating there? Yeah, it's just fun and I mean, yeah, from from what I know, my games rarely rate high in fun because uh, I think this is fun is really a hard metric, right, to design your game around because fun is mostly in my opinion about making a game that just feels where the controls are tight, where it's skill based in a sense. I've been giving this some thought lately because I want I want to shoot for a game that's fun essentially for my next Ludendare and I really need to do some research but it's really hard to understand excuse me what people think is a fun game and like I said it comes down to something where you feel you can progress in terms of your skill as a player and where the controls feel super nice and as soon as it's some kind of text adventure uh, narrative driven experience um, I think those rarely rate high in fun because I think yeah like I said fun is a different metric it's it's not it's hard to rate something in fun I think the better metric would be a to ask the player is do you was this a meaningful experience to you this is of course very heady <laughs> in a sense and very abstract but i feel that some games were like um, um this war of mine was it a fun game to play uh, it probably not it was very dismal and and bleak just like disco elysium but was it a meaningful experience where I said, yeah, this was worth my time? I would say absolutely. And same goes for games like uh, What Remains of Edith Finch. Uh, it's, it's not so much about the fun aspect. It's, it's more about, like I said, yeah, the meaningful experience. So, yeah, just my two cents on this. Cursor was a great experience, uh, Lady Misleaf says. And I have to agree, this one with a hamster with a wonderful name. Still, still recall the name of the hamster. It was like Paul or something with a P. Anyway, this this was this was a nice experience. Okay, we need to talk. And there's music. And uh, yeah, those two people look a bit estranged from each other. And it also got 3D animation. Not quite sure how you pull this off because 3D animation takes a lot of time. But then again, there were some hacks of people using their Kinect as some sort of motion capture device. Not quite sure if this was someone who did this for a Ludum Dara, but I thought this was a very nice idea. Um, motion tracking, motion capturing, that was what I meant to say. So yeah, let's start talking then. And we're on this big ferris wheel there. And we got 20 courage. Okay, I'm starting to think it wasn't the brightest idea to bring my wife to the Ferris wheel on our 10th anniversary. You know what I already like about this is uh, that it's going backwards, right? So I think there's also some metaphor going on there that they're stuck in a wheel, but everything is going backwards for them. Oh, look at this. This is very cute. Attention, please. What? During the conversation, you can use any card if you have enough courage. Some cards open you dialogue options if there are any. Keep an eye on the courage level. So manipulator, hug or boost opens the manipulative... Manipulati ma an option where you can be manipulative. Hug her or boost where we can raise our courage. This is very interesting. Okay, so if we say nothing, this probably will be bad. But you know what, let's, let's try to hug her then. Um, did this help? During the conversation you can use any card if you have enough courage. Some cards open you. Okay, so... Manipulative, what a terrible day or just what? Or boost the courage. So I, apparently I used all the cards right now. So let's go with what? We experienced a minor technical problem with the brakes of the ferris wheel. Don't panic, everything is under control. The wheel will be spinning a little bit longer. Oh my god, they have no idea what is wrong or how to fix it. Enjoy the ride while we're working on fixing brakes. Thank you for your patience. Wow. And Amelia says, looks like we're stuck here for a while. Uh, what should we do? Maybe it's a chance for us to talk to each other? Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like a good marriage. 
Look at this there in the lower corner. I think this is our marriage meter. So it's not looking too good right now. I can't talk to my wife. Or I can play some cool games on my phone waiting for my courage to restore. Okay, so your wife wants to talk to you and you want to play a game. So this is the courage ticking up. But okay, so this must be real time then. Or it's not. So um, my courage is a 25. So you know what? I will try to bring up my courage. And is, is this a game? Okay, so I can just click here. And this is my... This is how to bring up courage. Essentially, it's a clicker game right now. So let's... I think I want to bring up my courage to 100. Having a close look there at the marriage meter. But yeah, this is not something you do when you're stuck with your wife on a Ferris wheel. Uh, you don't bring out your phone and just play games. So, okay. So this was apparently... Um, Playing the game didn't bring up my courage. I thought the score in the game would bring up my courage. But you know what? Let's talk, let's talk to Amelia. You were silent recently. Did anything happen? Okay, so do we want to raise her courage? Want to, to manipulate her? Shuffle? New random hand of cards? The comedian opens comical or honesty? Honesty is always the hardest. So let's, let's go with honesty. Uh, rough times. Tell me, what's going on with you? I doubt that I chose the right path. I'm worried about my health. Okay, so should should we joke something? Let's, let's joke. Why should I tell you anything? You can read it yourself in the history books. Yes, it's a bit snarky, but apparently maybe I will in the chapter about Neanderthals. Okay, this was okay, this was a good comeback. Um, let's talk, please, about anything. Okay, so um, how are things at work? We should buy a new fridge, shouldn't we all? Our car's engine sounds terrible, should take it to the repair soon. Let's sit and be silent for a moment, okay? So, uh, our courage is down quite a bit. But you know what, let's raise my courage for a bit. And how are things at work? Actually, I've been doing well. My boss promised to raise my salary in October. I always say salary, like like the vegetables. Salary, sa salary. I'm, I'm super conscientious about this always say say it wrong so but raise my pay in october okay so um hmm we, sh we should buy a new fridge why not but it should be a two compartment one not less um that's a sensible option so let's go for a random set of cards and let's try to hug her so my courage is down so let's just wait for courage and let's try our car's engine sounds terrible you're right it's about time it can it can break down during the trip oh what trip okay so i clicked how things at work again um yeah let's be funny about it. let's discuss the final scene from the room movie oh cute doggy you te you're tearing me apart lisa was this the room Amelia, I'm the only person on the planet Earth who likes your sense of humor, but even I have my limits. <laughs> okay, yeah, um, let's, let's hug then. I'm sorry for my humor. And let's sit and be silent for a moment, okay? Be silent? Are you sure it's a good idea? No, we have not discussed everything. Yes, and the conversation. So we've discussed everything. And let's play a game to bring out, up our courage. I'm not quite sure how far I need to bring up my score in order to improve my courage. Because it's I think it stays here at 30 no matter what I do, whether I play a game or not. So um yeah, let's let's talk some more. There is one more thing I wanted to discuss. Okay, hug hug, two more cards. Comedian, comedian. I think we can go with the honest opinion. How to know to choose the right moment? Okay, there is no such dialogue option. So this set of cards always pertains to the current set uh, of where we are in the dialogue. I will be 35 in January, so I'm afraid we have to decide on the kids. Oh, it's not a game. More. This cannot be postponed any longer. Yeah, that's some tough talk here. That's a decision we must make shortly, you and me. 
Not now, let's put it off for later. We discussed this, remember? As soon as things get better, we'll do it. So let's try the honest opinion then. When I think about it, I feel paralyzed. I understand. If you only knew how scared I am. I can sleep every night thinking about it. I thought you really wanted. I'm not quite sure how she is on the kid's plan. But apparently, of course, I want more than anything. And more than anything, I'm afraid of it. Okay, so that's really tough talk. Can we try to be afraid together? So what do you say? Are we going to have a baby? Hmm. Can we joke about it? But I don't think that when you're joking about this, when she's trying really to be serious, that to, to joke. Uh, the comedic option would be I don't mind a kid if he doing the dishes, cleaning the house, walking the dog and earning his own college money. Yeah, that's probably not something that you would answer. So, um, no, or let's discuss this later. I'm not quite sure what my character's response to this is, but apparently he's not up for kids, but she wants kids. So, yeah, this is this is really a tough talk to have on a Ferris wheel that keeps going round in circles. But at least look at this. I don't know when, but it changed that now we're going forward. Now it's going backwards again. You know what? I'm such a dumbass. Of course, it's going forward. And once you pass the apex, then it goes Backward, uh, yeah, never mind. I think I just got it wrong. <laughs> so let's hug, let's hug her. And let's hug her twice because this is super hard. But uh, I don't, yeah, so let's discuss it later then. There won't be a better moment, probably. So um, two more cards. And let's raise my courage some more. And two more cards. Two more cards. Is there anything other than the comedic options that I have? Shuffle, random cards, honesty. Okay, I need, I don't have enough uh, courage for honesty then. So this is hard. This is really hard. So I, all I can do is say, let's discuss this later or no. Uh, yeah, she, she doesn't like this. Why? This is a tough decision. It's easier to refuse than to take on such responsibility. Well, is it? At a certain point, you have to decide on something. But you... Attention, please. The Ferris wheel is fixed, finally. We will stop it soon and you can return to the surface of our planet. <sighs> okay, so um, apparently... Our marriage has greatly suffered and I really, frankly, I can't blame her for this. Oh my god. And we're lacking the courage, so um, finally let's go home. Yeah, this didn't go too well. So apparently, I think the biggest thing that I was lacking was the courage to be honest at the end. You chose to run away from your problems, as always. You've seen 28 of dialogue lines out of 82. You know what, let's let's try this again and let's try to take a different approach then. I'm starting to think it wasn't the brightest idea to bring my wife to the Ferris wheel on our 10th anniversary. Actually, I think it was good. I think it was good. So you have, we can talk about it. So yeah, again, the Ferris wheel is stuck. So um, let's go with, let's hug her. And what's the community? Blah, blah, blah. I can't hear you. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> fun. And yeah, let's boost the courage and enjoy the ride. What should we do? Maybe we can talk? <laughs> yeah. Or I can play some cool games. But if I'm not playing a game, is the courage still ticking up? Apparently it is, so I don't have to play a game. Or if I do, nothing really happens to the courage, so... We don't have to play a game. So let's talk to the wife then. And you know what? I will go with honesty. It's rough times. I'm worried about my health. When was the last time you saw a doctor? Don't start again. <laughs> uh, let's talk, please, about anything. So we also know how things at work are going. About the fridge. About the car engine. And... You know what? I want to really want to hold on to this honesty option. So I want to stay above five courage. So new cards and all I can do is hug or honesty, right? So let's what's honesty. 
I've been feeling a lot of pressure recently. It's like I owe everyone. Tell me what, what's going on with you. I'm worried about my... I doubt that I chose the right path. You mean all this game making stuff? Yeah, that's death. I support all your decisions. Do you know it? Even if it doesn't make us any money yet. Yeah, it's tough. My, my god, making games isn't really a money maker. So yeah, just thank you. I mean, I, I would like to hug her, but I lack the courage for a hug. So it's just thank you. Um, yeah, let's sit and be silent for a moment. Um, end conversation. So I uh, need really to stay, uh, to keep the courage up, right? Yeah, of course, making indie games. There's no money in making indie games, but I think at a certain point when you're working for, let's say, Activision and Bobby Kotick is getting rewarding himself and other bonus while you don't know how to pay for the food in the Activision-owned cafeteria, yeah, it's also not the best life, I would assume. So let's talk to the wife then. There is one more thing. So I'm afraid I have to decide on the kids. It's not a game. It's a decision. So, okay, where is... Uh, I don't want to manipulate. I don't want to be the comedian. As soon as things get better, we'll do it. Things will never get better. You will always miss something. I need at least a year for games to start generating income. Children need money. Well, this is also true. Children don't need money. They need to exist. Look at the sky, run on the grass, play football, fall in love and quarrel. It's you who need money to feel less of a failure. <sighs> Shots fired, but she's probably right then. Well, it's it's harsh. What do you say? Are we going to have a baby? Um, more cards, please. Honesty. I'm afraid, but I want to try with you. Really. Yes, I don't know where to start. I know where to start, but perhaps let's go home first. I'm scared. I know. I love you. Oh, this was great timing from the announcer. Attention, please. Technicians have finished repairing the Ferris wheel. I didn't see any technicians, so maybe they just were hanging out to dry. <laughs> Enjoy the last minutes at altitude. Oh, this is fun. And remember, service quality claims are not accepted. Yeah, they, they're always covering their ass. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, this went, this went a, a lot better. This went a lot better. You chose to save your marriage. This is good. You've seen 30 dialogue lines out of 82. You know what would have been interesting if it would count so um, that if I play the game over and over that I could get to all 82. Because I think since it's an experience, uh, in those games uh, you really you want to help people be a completionist and f maybe mark out things that they haven't seen in the last playthrough. Um, I'm just those are just the things that, that come off of my head. Um, but yeah, just to support people who want to get every last dialogue line out of this. Because I really like this that you tell me how many dialogue lines I've seen. But yeah, this was We Need to Talk from, well, uh, main menu, from Stanislav Demchenko. And my god, yeah, this was this was really, I, I, would, I feel, a very personal game there, in a sense, because it's one of those conversations, especially if you're in a relationship, there are many hard conversations where you know, yeah, it's the topic that we've long avoided, but yeah, we need to talk about it someday or later or right now essentially and if you always keep pushing it ahead like like the release date of your grand uh, indie epic um yeah things will fall by the wayside so i think this is a, a very um thoughtful game in a sense uh well or thought inducing this is not the right word but it yeah it, it's just uh it makes you think it's it's a it's something that's, as I can tell, uh, seems to be very personal and also, uh, yeah, you can connect to it. I think, especially if you make indie games are at a certain level and sometimes you feel, uh, yeah, this is going nowhere. Should I really do this? Uh, should I become a grown up or do something more serious with my life? Am, am I doing the right things? And I think uh, many of us have these thoughts. And also, if you're in, in a relationship, it's good to have someone really to talk about this because they bring their own kind of baggage and, and doubts uh, as well. So in the end, uh, my advice is, my God, this has been very philosophical right now. My advice is be honest and, and always 
be warm at heart and together you can do this. And as a game, like I said, it's it's really great if you make something that makes people think uh, about themselves, about causes or anything. And I feel, uh, yeah, this game also with the card mechanic is, is a very interesting mechanic. Um, like I said, sometimes I'm not quite sure if this play game was doing anything. <laughs> uh, otherwise, uh, uh, because this, this courage would, would also uh, in, uh, yeah, incline. Increment, that's the word, not incline. Uh, yeah, I, again, also like the presentation, uh, these little animations there. Um, this is uh, something, like I said, that I always like if the presentation is nice, even if it doesn't have to be. I mean, this could also work as a text game, which just says you're stuck in a endless wheel, where just turning and turning and turning, and it's a metaphor if you, for those who haven't realized it. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, there are animations and graphics and like I said, it looks to me some sort of motion captured or at least a lot of effort went into uh, into this. So uh, all I can say is two thumbs up and thank you so much for posting and sharing. Like I said, it's very personal and uh, it's it's hard to share something something like this. But again, in a sense, we're all in the same boat. Any of us has different, well, yeah, different, but but still equally uh, serious talks uh, with our significant others uh, on some days. So I think everyone can relate. And yeah, again, thank you for, for your game and your openness. So this was We Need to Talk. Next one is from Tim Erickson. And apparently it's one uh, with a title that you need to shout because it's in all caps. So let me... Was this the right one? No, I was still in the wrong row. Phil's menu. I love coding those little scripts and tools. I have a special place in my heart for command line tools that I can string together with elaborate batch files. For those of you who know me, how uh, I do uh, encoding or <laughs> encodings of my of my gameplay videos because I record them losslessly compressed, loss losslessly, losslessly compressed without loss in visual terms and then really have my thread ripper do the crunching to uh, make uh, H62 or 65 I always say in German uh, this is why I'm, I'm struggling HVEC files out of it and for this I have a very very uh, honed script that does it and just to show you this is how I like my batch files where it's just a lot of Options there. Let me just adhere the line break because I I like to do I like to do this myself <laughs> essentially because I don't trust the Adobe Media Encoder or any other things. I really want to get in the thick of it and say yeah, what's the B pyramid? Is this true or not? I have no idea what the B pyramid is, but let's switch it on. Why not? I think it has to do something with B frames. Anyway, let's talk about Firewall Surfer by Tim Erickson. Let me copy. And where's the now playing? There is the now playing paste and name as well. Paste safe. There we go. By the way, Unicorn, of course. Thank you. Thank you for pointing this out. Hmm. I also haven't really eaten something today, apart from another coffee before on uh, our very beautiful fall autumnal walk and um, we were a bit late the weather was uh, dreadful it was getting dark and we were walking on this little little wooden road uh, wooded road not wooden road wooded road there and for some reason there were three cars where usually there aren't any cars and we thought yeah they probably go to their secret hut and cook meth or something so my point is i don't have a point i just had coffee <laughs> on the way there. Wonderful. So Firewall Surfer. How to pronounce uh, your name? Uh, I have no idea. So I'm just going with Tim Erickson. Remember to read the how to and controls section. I will probably forget it as soon as I'm in the game, but thank you. And the game can be challenging, oh dear, but it is absolutely possible to complete possible to complete at least this is something a bit more than with my other games well not my latest little die games but 
you don't have time for testing and you think um, if I just manage to get through it to the end just once myself then it's probably beatable and this is this is the testing. Anything else? Hey Phil, thank you for playing my game and thanks for making Lulunda community an even better place. Oh, you're welcome. I'm not quite sure if I'm doing the entire Lulunda community making them a better place, but at least this fun little community that we all are, I think, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not making it a better place. I mean, it's, it's a community. Everyone is making it a better place. And I think this is all I could ask for, for just people getting together, being nice to each other and encouraging. And I mean, this, this feels nice. So group, group hug everyone. So, um, yes, the game, the game's link is in the chat right now. And this is Domino House again. Shout out to Domino House on Steam. Get it off at 13%. Why 13%? Because it's the lucky number. Firewall Surfer by Tim Erickson. Please read the how to play and control section. Note, the game performs best when played in Safari. I don't have Safari, but um, would Chrome also work? Let's try it in Firefox and then I have Chrome and then I have... What's Edge? Ah, never mind. Probably played in Notepad++. Surf your way through high security servers in this 80s and 90s inspired hacking game. My god, I love it! Using state-of-the-art looping technology, the Firewall Surfer software will let you play out your hacker fantasies while looping through and surfing over firewalls. Oh my god, I want to be acid burned. Anyone see the 1995 movie Hackers? My god, it was so bad and so good at the same time. By the way, um, quick uh, question. Do you have a favorite hacker movie where it's about hacking or the whole hacker lifestyle? I think, like I said, Hackers is pretty far up on my top 10 list. I, I think I got a top three list. Uh, the second place has Antitrust, a film probably no one remembers. It was from 2004, no, earlier 2001 or so. And uh, I think my number one hacker movie is Sneakers. Uh, this one is still still great with Ben Kingsley, I think. Anyway, um, the looping is so powerful that it can be hard to control, though. So it's time to break out of those to break out those lead hacker skills of yours. Collect password fragments to crack one server node after another until you finally get what you are looking for: the mainframe. Okay, so it's a hacking game and uh, it looks to be like a jump and run game, a platformer. This is weird, but I like this. I uh, assumed that it would be more along the lines of Uplink by Introversion Software. By the way, if no one of you knows Uplink, but has a, a, a soft spot for these hacker aesthetics, you know what, I'll, I'll just make a shout out to Uplink, Introversion, Intro introversion software there we go introversion i think this was my first game from introversion software um yeah they also made prison architect and i think this is all they are known for today but yeah this was uh the game that i had to import because you really couldn't get it anywhere and i don't think you were allowed to download it because it was so realistic there was some some weird legal thing going on but this felt so real. And by the way, this one has a great soundtrack with mod tracker music. Anyway, Firewall Surfer, how to play. Collect the pink or red letters and numbers and symbols to crack the password. Okay, collect pink letters. Once all the pieces uh, have been collected, a connection to the next server node will appear. Simply jump into it to progress. Avoid colliding with the edges of the firewalls, the white platforms. You are free to surf on top of them, but if you hit the edge, then the loop will be broken. Ah, The firewall will disconnect you and your connection will be broken for a short while. If you don't crack the password fast enough, you will be detected and the attack will be aborted. Have fun, hackers! So controls are W jump, press again to double jump. Okay, so double jump is the important thing here. And S is slam into the ground for a faster fall. So it's the booty attack from Super Mario. NB exclamation point. What does NB stand for? No break, no brainer, no booty. <laughs> you will need to use both a W and S to hit several of the firewalls platforms. Jump first and slam down. And onto the, the firewall. So it's onto the, the firewall. Okay, HTML5. 
So let's hope it runs in Firefox. And Predator says, I'm not a big movie person. Essentially, I'm not myself. I used to be back when there were still, there were still places you could go physically that had shelves of VHS tapes. It was called a videothek in, in, in German. And it also, in the end, it also had uh, these, these, these discs, it, not called video discs, but something else. They were very versatile discs. Yeah, anyway, and I used to rent discs from there. And because I was so worried that those, those video stores, right, that they would burn down and all the movies would be gone. So I thought I'm the good Samaritan that I am. I made backups of pretty much any movie that I rented from there, just in case something would happen. I also lost my backups along the way, but uh, yeah, I even copied the covers and so on, just, just to be sure that, that they are safe. Okay, W and S and press H for help and guide. Let's do this. Firewall Surfer is a highly efficient password crack and unauthorized access tool. The GUI shows firewalls as white blocks and password fragments as pink. You must keep your momentum to avoid being detected. So be fast and be precise. Gather all the password fragments to crack the password. Okay, so W and S and Q. Okay, so uh, enter. Connecting to least secure server node. Ooh, okay, so. Um, yeah, I jumped into. Yeah, this is hard. This is hard. So I have to really to start very early with my jumps so that I'm don't bump into the sides of the platforms. Okay, I I think I understand this, but I'm not good at it. Uh, yeah. But uh, you know what? I really like uh, that the game keeps my progress. Okay, so double jump, there we go. And good. Okay, so I think I got this down. Double jump. Oh, uh, this is... Wow, this is hard. The graphics rem <laughs> remind me a little bit of of uh, the snake game of Quick Basic Nibbles, or, or Nibbler, I think it was called. Uh, yeah, I'm um, not doing too well there. Okay, so I really need to be super precise there in my double jumping. Ah... Uh, this got super hard, super quick, <laughs> I have to admit. But at least, like I said, at least you don't reset also uh, the, the password thingies there. Okay, so if I manage to land on the platform there, I immediately have to double jump again. Otherwise, I'll bump into the sides there. Okay, jump from there and do I... No, okay. Frankly, I don't... I have an idea how <laughs> how to finish this. And now... Okay, I, I'm not quite sure how I managed to do this, but... But I, I did it. Twice and twice and down! Twice and... Okay, so this, this plummeting down by hitting the S key, I would assume that I would go down in a straight line, but clearly I am not. <laughs> You were detected by the server security, so apparently I, it's it's a sort of uh, lives that I have. So yeah, let's let's try this again. But I don't think, man, this is really hard. <laughs> this is really hard. So um, yeah. Oh, this was too close. I think I clipped through the one platform there. Ah, oh, this went better last time. <laughs> this went better last time. So the password apparently is H4X0 and I would assume an R. The R is the missing piece there. Oh yes, of course it is because I can clearly see it on the topmost platform. So it's Hexor! Um, yeah. Okay, so it's not about uh, the amount of lives that I have, it's about how much time I still have. This is the detection countdown, so... Uh, yeah. Double jump! There we go! So this is node 3, but apparently it... I skipped a level there when I restarted the game, which I'm not complaining about. <laughs> Okay, so this is a super KD experience, I have to say. It's a bit too harsh, I think. 
could I jump three times now? I think there was a glitch where I jumped th like three times in a row. Again, I'm not complaining, I'm just mentioning it. Yeah, this plummeting, like I said, it's always, uh, it also goes down in a curve. A fast curve, but still uh, a curve though, and this is throwing me off a bit. Oh my god, I don't think I will manage to get this password here. This is a super hard platformer. <laughs> Come on, no. Wow. I'm not quite sure how you managed to do this, but uh, apparently either I'm super bad at this, granted this could be the case, or this game was tested solely by the developer and at a certain point they really got used to the controls, of course, as you do. <laughs> and, uh, and Tim apparently thought, yeah, this is probably too easy. This level is just the right amount of challenging and it's too hard. Sorry, it's too hard. Five, four, three. Two, one, yeah, this is not good. Let's let's try this again. Authorities have been notified. The authorities tell me that I suck at platforming. Okay, now I was just constant. Sorry, I'm constantly jumping. This is probably not as intended. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. But I think I have the feeling that. Uh, with each new run, I get worse than before. Because uh, at first you just have beginner's luck, but then as soon as you have, you were lucky more times than you, um, you thought you would be, then you you, feel, you you get the feeling that, huh, this is skill. No, it's still luck. And yeah, this is the point that where I am right now, where I was fooled by some luck that I had in the beginning and now I'm mistaking it for skill. And yeah, this is this is probably the worst jumping screen. Uh, and I'm also bad with words. When I'm sucking at games, I also forget words. This is probably the worst stream of a jump and run platforming game you've probably seen. And it must be even more frustrating for you to watch me fail on this very first level here over and over again. So yeah, I think I have to call it a day now because I'm I'm too bad at this. I'm really I'm I'm sorry. I, I can't progress any further there, but I really like the idea. So it's um this loop I think is just this super quick turnover where it's uh, as soon as you fail you you get uh, thrown back into the action which I always like, especially with those hard games like um Super Meat Boy for example you have no idea how grating it is when you have games with the skill challenge that you have to try over and over again and when you die the screen fades out it says you died it fades out again then it's a lo loading pause then the screen fades in your character does a dusting off animation and in the end you've waited like 10 seconds for your next try and it takes you two seconds to fail again and it's over and over again. So I'm very uh, 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 grateful that this game does not do this. <laughs> but again, like I said, you, you, you've witnessed me, it's too hard. For some reason it's it's just too hard. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I like the idea. It's it's a super arcadey platformer. Like I said, it's also in terms of the presentation, it's something that you could have played in 1982, for example. It's a quarter eater and probably if, if it were around in 1982 people would still play today and go up to level 256 in like 10 minutes <laughs> or so but yeah this was um, connection terminate no this was firewall surfer by tim erickson again i'm sorry that i really can't talk about much about the game <laughs> because uh yeah i wasn't having much much luck with it right the next game is unholy echo and Unholy Echo by Gustavo Silva and apparently some other people. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of other people. Why doesn't the now playing not update? Huh. Apparently I've deleted something there as well. I'm really sorry. Um, I'm just going through my... Um, there we go. Oh, of course. There we go. I was in the wrong uh, in the wrong preset in my OBS. So there we got some uh, a chat going on, but 
the now playing browser is not updating. Local file. Okay. Does it work now? It does not work. It doesn't seem. So, Phil, technical problems trademarked. And there we go. Yes, it is. Uh, as always, you never know what the technical problem is going to be. But uh, yeah, this time it seems like OBS doesn't update the uh, HTML that says right underneath this little thumbnail of me that says now playing. And I have no idea why the file still exists on. Yes, it does exist. Now playing OBS. It It's not empty. It's activated here. Browser now playing. It's just not showing up for some reason. I try to pick a different file right now. Maybe maybe it's just that. So now playing HTML. Okay. Doesn't work. I'm really sorry. So I have to do it the old fashioned way. So uh, I will write it now in the chat or, or just just the link in the chat. There we go. Lady Mistliff says, I always say computers are made by humans and humans aren't perfect, so by proxy neither are computers. Yes, I think the big fallacy there is that so many people assume that computers are perfect. And in the end I always always blame the computer. It's never a, a problem of the, uh, the user. Uh, I mean, you did something wrong, perhaps, but you did it with the best intentions, right? And it's the computer's fault not to figure out what you actually meant by something that you typed in. Uh, I've, I've read recently, uh, well, not that recently, but somewhere that on Twitter one complained, I think the compiler isn't actually reading all my comments. And I think this is what it comes down to, that the compiler isn't reading all the comments and not quite understanding what it should be doing. It's just doing things wrong. So. Yeah, computers are like cats. Uh, no matter what you tell them, they, they will do it their way. And we won't hurt the computer's feelings yet. But as soon as we can hurt the computer's feelings, my God, we will make use of it. Oh, you know what? I think what might be the problem. The problem might be that my HTML is somehow problematic. So... I think, no, wait, wait a second, no, it, this looks good, this looks good, so, oh, there's, of course, I deleted a div, classic, so class is game name, what's uh, font family game title, there we go, so I've deleted a div, and, well, maybe it was a user error after all, save, and does it update? Uh, browser now playing local file. It does not. <laughs> okay. Clearly, clearly I've, I've deleted something else that I shouldn't have deleted. So, but there's the body. No, I didn't delete the game title. Now I have two divs in there. Okay, again, reverse everything. It's still the computer's fault. I did everything right. I don't know what, what it's the problem. What, what its problem is. So, yeah, let's, let's not... Be concerned with that. I just tell you which game I'm playing, and and I think <laughs> I think this this should suffice for now. I, again, I'm really sorry that I'm always having these problems. Okay, so there is a lot of authors there. So it's Team Sunset, Unholy Echo, a game by Gustavo Silva, Guillermo Silva, v Vinicius Rocha, Roja, Roca. William Carvalho, uh, Victor Lopez, uh, Lucas Oliveira, and Mat Matheus Miano. Matheus Miano. <sighs> yeah, it's 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 perfectly fine if you are if you are uh, uh, angry with me for mispronouncing your name. So it's just Team Sunset, but it's a lot of people. Everything is okay if you pronounce a name wrong. Do your best. I try to do my best, and it came out as my worst. So um, Gustavo. Let me uh, shout you out on Twitter. And it's not how you say it, shout you out. <laughs> you don't shout someone out on Twitter. So where's my where's my notepad plus plus? There it is, Twitter notifications. Hey, Gustavo, I'm playing your game right now. And I think it is Gustavo Silva. And yeah, about the game. This is our second game using Godot. I think we improved a lot since the last game, Jam. Hope you enjoy. Anything else? Oh, and remember, you can hold the attack button. Maybe this information will be important. And read the book. 
let's read the book of Unholy Echo. I mean, it's Unholy Echo, 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 Echo. There we go. So it's a game by uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people and or six people and one egg because I think this is Dizzy Adventure. It's this egg here, the Dizzy series. I'm sorry, I don't know why. Whenever I see Dizzy, I always think of the egg. Look at this. It's pixely, but it's so lovely Take in its way how it, it's pixely. Okay, so this already looks very enticing. I already like this person with a torch in some kind of underground tomb, maybe. I love it. Unholy Echo is a short game about being stuck in a cursed loop, facing adversities by searching for answers and ultimately acceptance of fate. Cool. So move arrows whilst attack is space or J and I can press or hold the attack key and skip dialogue Z or K. So I'm going for K because Z is uh, on top of the H key on my keyboard and below the 6. Speed up text is X, okay, and interact is E. Technology is used. Development and game engine Godot. Design and documentation Notion. There's documentation. I've never heard of Notion before. So, sounds cool. Arts, Ace, Sprite, and Adobe Photoshop. Soundtrack and effects. Cakewalk by BandLab and Adobe Audition. Cakewalk is by BandLab? Huh. I always thought... Cakewalk was Sonar, and before that it was, yeah, it was Cakewalk, or Cakewalk Studio. Anyway, I, I remember using Cakewalk back in Windows 95, and the icon was uh, an EGA cake, literally, uh, just an icon 32 by 32 pixels, a cake with legs, because it was called Cakewalk. Amazing. Better on Windows and Linux clients. Thank you very much. So let's uh, get the Windows version then of unholy echo 27 megabytes this is very reasonable and um, did i click it click clickety click now i clicked it unholy echo i just i just love saying unholy echo in this voice it's 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 fun it's fun okay so um but we we're all more interested in the game than me enjoying to say certain words. <laughs> uh, notion, the Notion is a cool tool. Uh, you should look into it. So it's the Notion then. Okay, so I probably should look into it then. Cool. It's it's always so uh, interesting to see or to learn what other people use to create their games because most of the times it's something that I've never heard of. And uh, I mean, the more tools that you got in your tool belt, um, yeah, the, the, the faster you be because there are chances are that there is something that's exactly precisely fitting for your problem that you might be having with some of your game design. So the notion apparently should look into it. Red Hermit says Cakewalk was acquired in 2018 by BandLab. Really? And I think they released a free version. This is insane. I used to pirate <clears throat> I used to get my hands on Cakewalk back in 1998. My god, this is over 20 years back. Um, but this was the first tool where I could place notes on this staff view. This was before I even had a keyboard. I just placed MIDI notes there and, and tried to recreate some of my favorite songs back then. I think the first one that I recreated was the intro to Star Trek The Next Generation right until it went into this all orchestral piece that I couldn't recreate by ear. But yeah, now I'm completely off track now. So let's let's get back on track by Unholy Echo and look at this uh, mysterious and unholy icon there. Unholy Echo. Just love saying it. Okay, so is this music? Yes, I can hear a cembalo, a harpsichord. Let's go full screen. Nice. Okay, so... Again, I love this pixel style. It looks to me like a VGA game from from the good old DOS days. Use ABSD. That's weird. I've never seen it that way. To walk, E to interact, press or hold space to attack. Kate next dialogue and L to speed up text and it's fading out so I have to be quick. Okay, so um, this uh, style clashes a little bit with the pixely style there. And there is, uh, again, I mean, it looks it looks great. 
But there is one pet peeve of mine, and that is unmatched pixel sizes. Look, the pixels there are bigger than those pixels and the pixels here and those pixels. My god, what happened? Adventurer. Ugh, where am I? Yeah, this is my adventurer voice. So, dialogue. What was it? Z? Okay, Z was skip dialogue, apparently. So I can walk around and look at this. I even kick up a little trail of dust particles, if you can see this. This is cute. So, E to interact, right? The book. With focus, even the hardest diamond shall get shattered. Okay. So, um, X. No. F. No. Z, right? It was Z to... Okay. Sometimes safety is found hiding in plain sight, but a little strength can help creating a path. A true guardian always helps those who approaches, regardless of the danger. Okay, so help others uh, be strong to get past something and something something diamonds. Okay, so... Oh my god, this is a Pac-Man with teeth. <laughs> I like the design, by the way. Victemporis, Victemporis, Victemporis. So it begins. You are not ready. Okay, so it begins. I'm not ready. Can you hear the music? Okay, so, um, fire. Yeah, this was not good. So apparently I needed to do something. Ah, huh? There was fire everywhere. Yes, there, there was. So should we read the book again? With focus, even the hardest diamond. Yes. Sometimes safety is found hiding in plain sight. Okay, so hiding, safety hiding in plain sight. Let's try this again. The music is too quiet. Let me bump up the music then. Substantially. So it begins. You are not ready. Okay, so I shouldn't spend too much time. Is this... Can I hide here in plain sight? Is this something? Uh, no, okay. <sighs> hmm, hmm. Press or hold space to attack. Okay. Ah, oh, okay, so I probably should have attacked something there. So, let's attack this here. Can I attack this? No, I can't. Okay, so this is getting a bit frustrating then. Um, yes, focus. And when I'm holding the attack button. Ah, okay, so... Okay, so my first feedback is I need more feedback. When I'm holding down the attack button, I have this very faint glowing there and this sound. But otherwise... I'm not holding a sword or anything and when I let go this animation looks pretty cool but it's it feels it's very slow so okay I'm, I'm trying again now charging my sword okay this didn't do anything so oh my god okay so this is getting tedious K E K why can't I just hit F to interact, also to skip the dialogue button then. Okay, let's try this here. This doesn't do anything. Can I go? Oh, so there is the hiding space right in front of the other statue. Okay, so I just I just thought that the screen wouldn't scroll. But it does scroll. This is good. It does scroll, so I just need to run up to the hiding space here. Good. Now what? Okay, so... Okay. Okay, so it's one of those games where you really have to... to uh, memorize the attacks pattern. Okay, strength, hiding... Uh, okay. I'm not a fan of those... Uh, yeah, re re remember where everything is or how to escape something. So then probably I need to go here then. Can I now do something here? Yes, now. Now this one works. 
Okay, cool. Okay, how do you kill me now, game? What's your next trick? Okay, so um, which one? Let's pick this one. This was the wrong one. Okay, so oh my god, really, really I don't like this. There is not skill involved in any of this. It's just road memorization. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I think, I'm, I'm sorry if this is a bit too harsh, but I've had so many of those games. Uh, it feels very just, yeah, just recall or memorize the pattern and yeah. But I, I, you have, I have to give you one thing, the presentation is very nice. Also the sound effects, this is super. So is there anything that I can do here? Is there any hidden secret? Yeah, in terms of the feedback, when I hit space I want to have the stabbing thing right away, but... Yeah, it's, uh, it just feels a bit slow, I think. Okay, so which one shall we pick? Okay, let's go with the rightmost one. Okay, so I don't, I shouldn't spend too much time. Maybe it's it's uh, break all, break all the diamonds before those things, those blades cross. Maybe maybe that's the thing. So yeah, let's let's give that a try. But uh, doing the same thing again and again, it's it's not my favorite thing <laughs> to do. Lady Misslip says you might want to skip the game then. So uh, it's more of the same then. I just, I just, I just want to see what happens after those diamonds then. <laughs> so apparently uh, she has already played the game and that's all there is to it. Skip my game, I mean. Oh, really? No, I, I'm, I'm curious. Okay. No, okay, so I was too slow with my attack there. Uh, okay, so let's try this again. Uh, okay. If only there was a bit more skill involved. The music, for some reason, I get the feelings of ghosts and goblins there. I don't know what it is, maybe this orchestral thing with the trumpet. So I'm charging up now. There we go. And let's do this again. So that's how it ends. There's no escape for neither of us. Apparently there isn't. So... Ha! Ha ha ha! Fate is such a curse. Thank you. Okay, so his soul escaped. If it was his soul, can I attack the throne here? Apparently not. But... Okay, so this was this was the game. Programmers, uh, okay, uh, the, it's fading before I'm able to mispronounce all the names. So I, I, I actually I really like this uh, this little room here. Uh, the lighting effects are very nice. I like this this purple there. Again, I think only my pet peeve is uh, yeah the different pixel sizes. They irk me for some reason. Okay, so um, yeah, let's let's try and see what happens here. F E Ah, now I can remember everything. There's no way to bend my fate. Time is an enemy I can't fight. I shall stay and wait for a condemned soul. There's no home to return. Not until the next one arrives. So I become now the baddie? Is that it? And I have to wait for someone to finish me off like I finished off. I'm waiting for you press enter to continue okay so and now it's it's the same thing that that starts over again huh well that was unholy echo and frankly um it was lacking a bit of game there like i said it it was a bit too much 
based on memorization. I would have enjoyed it a bit more if there were maybe some enemies to fight, even if it's just some projectiles flying around so that I had to use my sword attack some more. But I like the presentation. Wasn't a big fan of the different pixel sizes, but I think I've established this uh, count of <laughs> many times before. But um, yeah, like I said, it's uh, this looks like, uh, you know what? I think in terms of design, I would uh, try to find a way where clever players don't have to fall into each trap before they know how to avoid it, right? Maybe, maybe uh, there is something that you could signal or... Mm, yeah, just some clues or so that it's more like a puzzle game. Because like I said, this starting over, it felt a bit tiresome. <laughs> but yeah, this was Unholy Echo. And the music was nice also. Lady Miss Lips says Unicorn and cheers. I have to... I have to have some water. So this um, was Gustavo's game Arcane Forest by Lady Mistleaf. Um, again, I will try to put it here in the now playing thing, but it looks like it's probably not going to show up. But you know what? I'm I'm a bit obsessive when it comes to this, so uh, it's it's here it's here in the now playing HTML file, but it doesn't show up for some reason on OBS. I'm. I'm very angry with OBS right now, I have to say. Uh, Roto sheet, there we go. Come on. Arcane Forest by Lady Mistleaf. About the game, not really, I hope you enjoy the game. Thank you for playing, so I haven't played it yet, but you're very welcome. And Lady Mistleaf says, just a heads up, I mistakenly labeled my game as Compo, I was Advised afterwards I should have put it under jam as I used free music for my game So but uh, you made it uh, in 48 hours then all by yourself. I would assume it's it's just just the music. Oh look at this I had, uh, For some reason I got some wipes there of What's the name? Stardew Valley. I don't know. It's just the trees and the, it looks cute. You find yourself in a magical forest where only talking a certain taking not talking talking I start from the top <clears throat> You find yourself in a magical forest where only taking a certain path will allow you to escape Take a wrong turn and no matter how deep you are in the forest you will find yourself back in the beginning Oh dear <laughs> Or is it in the middle of the forest? You're not so sure anymore Use the arrow keys to move and the mouse to click on the play button when you are ready to escape or try to. Made in 48 hours with paint.net for the graphics and brackets.io for the code editor. Oh, I've used this one. I, oh, I was almost prepared to say I've never heard of brackets.io, but I've used that one because I needed to do some Java scripting at work. <laughs> So, um, and the theme apparently is your high ra highest rated category and apparently fun is not so much. So, um, source code on page. Oh, it's on itch.io. As always, fun, like I said, I, I don't understand how to make a fun game, but it, at least it soothes my my soul to know that I'm not the only one who has, who has a problem. Uh, no, just take me to the downloads. You know what? Um, feedback for itch.io, because I know itch.io is watching. Before you, uh, when you want to download a game and it says, it asks you for, for uh, uh, an amount upfront, I don't know whether I like the game or not, so it's really hard for me to, to, to get this. Maybe if there would be some kind of API or something that in your game once you say yeah, um, you just beat the first level. Hey, uh, do you think you would give two bucks for this? Maybe maybe uh, Something for each IO to think about because I know you're watching. I know you're watching So arcane forest arcane forest And I'll look at this JavaScript and assets. So this is an HTML5 game. So I probably shouldn't have downloaded it. <laughs> uh, just uh, the download is just the code played in the browser. <laughs> yeah, should uh, pay more attention to the chat then, right? <laughs> okay, so let's let's uh, 
play play the game then in the browser. So there must be music, I've heard. Do I hear any music? I don't hear any music. Does any of you hear music right now? Maybe there will be music in the game. So I'll just zoom in a bit more. Or is this too far? Yeah, this is too far in. Is this okay, this size? Game made by Lady Mistleaf on itch.io. Music contains by Joshua McLean. Wonderful. Okay, there is music. Okay, so there is a pumpkin there. Can I pick up the pumpkin? Well, hello there. I hope we can be friends. You'll be here a while. And I just kicked the pumpkin off the screen. Um, yeah. So, um, hello there. Hint the pumpkins is not supposed to be kickable. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so the pumpkin is here. Can I interact with the pumpkin? But not kick it. So, apparently I, I'm, I'm just kicking the pumpkin now. Okay, so I'm not quite sure if I'm starting out in a different place. Okay, so... It's one of those. <laughs> So the first one was left, right? Left. Now the pumpkin is up here. A new human, it's been so long. Could be better looking though. My god, this is not a nice pumpkin. Well, hello there. F oh, it's the same pumpkin and then it's a new human pumpkin. And it's down was not. Okay, so it's left. Left and up. Are you as hopeless as you look? I like the different pumpkin designs. So it's left up. And you know what? I would assume it's down again. No. Because it says L U for left and up. And I thought down will, would be D. And then it's up again and it would spell out Ludum Dare or something. But apparently it's not. So music is a little loud as, st as stated. Oh, I'm sorry. How about now? So it's left, up. Um, let's go left again. No. Okay. So left, up. Then I make the music a bit louder again. And probably right now. Oh, geez. Why does it have to be you? My god, those aren't nice pumpkins let's try it right again I wonder how long this one will last lure left up right right left no okay I run out of pumpkin designs uh, it's a shame because I was looking forward to even more pumpkin designs but then again they take time right so, um, it's left, up, right, right, and it wasn't up again, so I go down now. Whoa, no one's made it this far before, didn't think you had it in you. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure. A left. No, why low there? I hope we can be friends, you'll be here for a while. Left. Up. Right, it feels a bit like wizardry. <laughs> we just follow your map. Right. Down. Let's try right again. No, okay. Left. Up. Right. Right. Down. Did I try up? Yes, up. Hey, where are you going? Come back! Congratulations, you've escaped the forest. So, okay, so this was apparently Arcane Forest. And for those of you who didn't keep track, I will share with you my super secret complete solution. There we go. It's left, up, right, right, down, up. Or it spells Lurdu. Lurdu. You know what? I think um, 
I'm probably not the only one who keeps directions uh, with initials of the cardinal direction. Well, it's not the cardinal direction, but maybe maybe have some kind of clue there that would spell it out uh, because then it's not as much as a maze game where it's more like yeah it, it's it's a maze unless you can interpret the clue correctly probably i'm saying this because i've played domino house and after you've played domino house for an hour and a half you see clues everywhere <laughs> so maybe maybe um the the appearance of the tufts of grass or uh, the arrangement of trees that they pretty much that they look uh, random at first but when you know how to read it that this would be a clue uh, or that you would know how to go there so it's it's more of a game of yeah just picking up on those subtle things things and to to pick things out i think this is how i would improve upon this game but um you you, you said yeah you, i would probably not like your game then because it's like the game before but i think what i like about this is it's it sounds really really nasty but i i don't have to uh, click through uh, all those um dialogues and have to wait for everything that the dialogue and the fade in and the fade out so the starting over is not as uh, unforgiving i think as the other game or not is it, it doesn't feel as tedious as unholy echo but yeah uh, thank you so much for submitting arcane forest and i really like the character design and also uh, the designs of the pumpkins so those aren't really nice pumpkins so it's good that we escape those arcane forest um f11 right yeah f11 the secret key combination yeah i think uh, uh, Many of us know people who accidentally hit F11 on their browser and then they called us for tech support and says, my Firefox, it's big, it's everywhere and it won't go away. And then you have to really figure out that it's just got maximized. <laughs> Red Hermit says, I usually try and finish for the gem, but it's never complete enough and I bleed over to the compo. Um... Isn't the other way around that you, you never managed to get the combo and then the jam? I'm not quite sure I understand what you just said. <laughs> um, yes, Arcane Forest. Sorry, I need to get my bearings again. Because uh, with me, I think I have a little neck. <laughs> like I said, that I see patterns where there are none. And thank the goddess that I'm not easily uh, 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 prone to any kind of... There is voices in the static of your radio at least i'm not picking up on those creepy pasta things otherwise i would have gone insane long ago and we got from space monkey this is the last game of my patrons so um i think this is great to top it off and then there is of course the game by preda like i said that i just want to throw preda pure Poor Prada a bone and play play their game. Energy Loop by Space Monkey. So I'm not quite sure if Julien is a present right now. I don't think so. But um, since tomorrow is Monday, so he might be working tomorrow. But nevertheless, I will try to shoot him a Twitter message that I'm playing his game. Where is Twitter? Safe on Domino House. No, this is wrong, wrong, wrong. There is Twitter. Tweet. So about the game, the sound design is really bad. Feel free to mute the game or play some background music while playing. You know what, uh, now you got me intrigued about the background music, now I want to see or rather hear how bad it really is. Anything else? You are the best! I think this is a person with their arms up, right? Or it's just an egg in some sort of shoot. Take care and take care I shall by taking care of my need for coffee look at this it's it's even it's even three three quarters full i don't know why i'm not having my coffee i'm really sorry coffee and space monkey is present in the steam chat uh, not steam in the stream chat christ i am present and i already feel bad for making your head hurt oh you have no idea how much my head can hurt I don't know why I said this or whether it makes sense, but... Okay, look at those big, chunky, juicy pixels. And you know what I really like? That sometimes with pixels, you can do so much with so little. I mean, I would assume that this is a person here. 
but it's just one, two, three, four, five by five pixels. But on some level, it is still recognizable. And those look to be like some sort of munchies, langoliers, I don't know. This is a simple puzzle game made with puzzle script in eight hours. Oh, puzzle script. I always wanted to try out puzzle script because I think I've, I've once saw a GDC talk about it and I thought, my God, this looks really fun and interesting. So if any of you are looking to make a puzzle game, puzzle script is really, I think, a, a good starting point because it's all about the design and not so much about the implementation. I originally didn't plan on participating, but made the mistake of checking the theme at midnight. Next thing I knew, I had an idea I wanted to experiment with and couldn't resist the urge. A kingdom for your problems. <laughs> that you think, I'm, I'm not going to participate, but my idea is so good and it would be a waste. With me, it's, I'm going to participate. Please, idea, please come to me and don't suck. But you all know how it goes for me. You really all do. It could be much more polished, but I'm happy with the core idea. As long as your core idea is good, um, then you can only have to worry about polishing. With me, it's the other way around. I feel, ah, oh, my idea is so bad. Better distract the people by just dangling my keys in front of them, trying to distract them from the low core ID. In other words, this is why fun on my games is so poorly. Uh, the source code is very messy, but it's available if you're interested. Yeah, this is how to, uh, if you need to have your code peer reviewed, but you really don't want to, um, just uh, write in the documentation that the code is very messy and it's very complicated or it's not complicated. Yeah, it's, it's not complex, but it's complicated. Essentially just all the red flags for someone that they just gloss over the code and say, yeah, probably looks all right. And have fun and thanks for playing. And we can play it even in the web because it's a puzzle script game. So let's run Enter, no, not Enter, Energy Loop by Space Monkey. And let's find out how horrible this sound design actually is. This was the wrong zoom. There we go. Maybe, maybe not too big there. Where's my scroll bar? Okay, so arrow keys to move, X to select and R to restart. X, one of six, get to the flag. X to continue. Okay, so this is super simple. I understand this, cool. Avoid the energy balls. Ah, okay. And they go in a loop. Energy balls are stuck in infinite loops. Okay. Oh my god, this was too fast. Ah, this I overshot. I think this is usually the problem that I have. Is that I tend to overshoot sometimes. Push crates to break the loops, but be careful. Okay. So I need to make sure that I trap them but not trap myself. So it's a bit like Sokoban, right? If balls collide into each other, they explode. Okay. Um, okay, so this looks like I need... I like this. So I need to push the crate over there. Maybe to get this one. Okay that they to, to to break up the cycle that they have but apparently um, I need to restart because I've messed up my timing I think at least this is the idea here and same problem as before And again, nothing wrong with the sound effects, says Inken Imbolant. I have to agree. I mean, it's it's minimal, but definitely it works. So I'm, again, I'm not quite sure if I keep messing up the timing then uh, or myself. But yeah, this was stupid. I don't know why I tried this. <laughs> because I had it already in the first attempt, right? So... 
Again, I, I'm not quite sure if I'm doing things incorrectly here. You know what, let's try this differently. Ah, there we go, now it worked. Okay, and now this thing here is going in circles. Man, this is some very nice and sweet design. Final challenge, oh my god. Okay, where am I? Okay, so I am here, so when I'm doing this, okay. This was good. Need to trap this one here and that I don't trap myself. I think this was bad. Okay. Yeah, this was, hmm. Challenging, I have to say. Hmm. I think I need to get this uh, ball here that I just trapped somehow, uh, yeah, down, that it would collide with the other ball that I would be able Yeah, that I would be able um, to escape. Yes, yes, no, no, okay. Good to know that this is not how this works, but maybe this works. And now I probably can't do anything about it. Hmm, okay, let's, let's try to restart it. At least I have the feeling that I've managed to get a bit further than the last time. Okay, so what if I put this here and maybe this one up? Yeah, this didn't do diddly and this neither. Hmm. 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 I need to push this ball down. Okay, let's try it again. Maybe I need to trap it up there. Maybe I think that might have been the problem. Could have been the problem. Not quite sure. But yeah, let, let's try it like this. But I'm, I'm doing the same thing over, right? It's not something. Huh. Can I, hmm, can't use an other crate there? This is really hard. This is a brain teaser. Maybe I'm overlooking something. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so apparently that's not how to do things. Okay, I thought I was super smart there for a second. What am I doing wrong now? I think, I, I thought I've, I've had it before. <laughs> okay, let's try it like this. Let's try it like this. Uh, that's an interesting new development, but nothing that I would deem beneficial to my cause. I think you're overlooking the purpose of the first energy ball. You mean this one here that's going around in circles? Huh, perhaps. Perhaps. So let's try and get this one. Uh, no, okay. Hmm. I mean, I managed to 
disturb here um, the inner logic of everything. But yeah, of course, Preda, you're absolutely right. This uh, left energy ball there has to do something, otherwise it wouldn't be part of this puzzle, right? So somehow it is related to something. Try to put the block in the bottom right corner before releasing the beast. This one here... This might have been an excellent suggestion. Let's try this. But they don't eat, e now they eat each other. Thank you, Ink and Imbula. Thank you so much. This was the missing piece there. And after all, I don't need the first energy ball there. But maybe there are more solutions to, to this game than, uh, yeah, than, than the one that uh, uh, Ink and Imbula just came up with. Well done, thanks for playing. X to continue and we're starting over. My god, this was a brain-teasing puzzle game. For some reason, as always, you know me uh, that I always uh, rem some games always remind me of some other games, and then I go off on a tangent on this. Yeah, and this game is no different. It reminds me of Chips Challenge, if anyone knows this, or of course the good old Sokoban from was it Spectrum Holobyte in 1982, something really old. Um, and I very much enjoyed the the puzzle. I don't know how much of uh, loop how much it, it plays to the theme of the loop. But then again, uh, it really doesn't matter because it's a very nice and interesting puzzle game in itself. I'm not quite sure if it does anything new. Like I said, a Chips Challenge has, I think, pressure plates and different colored keys and so on and so forth. And it's also tile-based, but uh, also in real time where you have to dodge obstacles and things like this. So I don't think it's it does anything new, but why does it it doesn't really have to do anything new because it's fun as it is as you've seen i've had a, a pleasantly brain teasing time and if ink and imbula wouldn't have told me what to do i would have probably spent 20 minutes or even longer <laughs> on this final puzzle which is good because i never felt overwhelmed i thought this is possible i've done this before i think so uh, yeah and the sound effects are perfectly adequate i don't think that there are they are hurting my ears or something i mean it's it those balls remind me of Pac-Man, essentially. So um, yeah, it's not as bad as you made it out to be. And like I said, I like the idea. Make some more levels, but Puzzle Script apparently is very well suited for this. So no need to polish, essentially, because it's it's got this retro aesthetic. Again, it's an uh, arcade game from the early 80s. Also in terms of pixel count. Sokoban Dizzy, what's next? Breakout. Well, we have to find out with a final and ultimate game of today that is Preda's game and that is Loopland. Let me copy and paste you the link as well in the description and row to sheet. There we go. Loopland by Preda. How to pronounce your name? Preda. And Preda is on Twitter, so I'm not, again, I'm not quite sure if Preda is around, but let's shoot him a tweet. Tweet. And paste. Preda is here. I am. Right. I've, I've seen you before in the chat. Now, now that I see you that with the double P, of course you are here. How? Why? Probably I haven't had enough coffee. So thank you so much for dropping by and thank you so much for submitting your game. And yeah, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to anything else. The downloaded experience might be better than the HTML one. And this is as I would expect it. And look at this. This is all I know of, of the game that I've seen is this very cute uh, art style, this cell shaded thing here where even the trees have loops. The hills might have uh, might might have eyes, yes, but the trees have loops. So a game by Bryonico, Martignano, Marelli and Preda. So I like the colors. And look at this, everything is, is loop themed. So the game was not touched since release first. Good to know. After a morning breakfast, young Wally suffered from a severe frosty loop overdose, sending him into the loop dimension. 
Um, if you were in the late 80s, early 90s, I think all you need is this sentence here when you want to pitch a game to the Kellogg's Corporation to say, yeah, we can make a game based on your IP and everyone would be super happy because uh, Loop Dimension, probably Frosty the Tiger or whatever mascot is for the Fruit Loops. Uh, I think it's Toucan, right? Never mind. So I think you, you, you're on a great start here for a retro experience. Um, now it's up to you to help him escape in one piece and overcome the obstacles in the way. So art is from Martignano Marelli, sound design is Paolo Serafim and programming is from... My god! I think this is... is this Hungarian? I have no idea how to pronounce your name. So I will try... Well, I, I won't try. I will have translate.google.com do the hard work for me. And then I will just parrot it out. Szilágyi Mátyás. Szilágyi Mátyás. Yeah, it sounded condescending. I'm sorry. But it was Szilágyi Mátyás who programmed this game. <laughs> so apparently it's, it's, it's Preda. <laughs> this I can work with. So there is Loopland and download or play the HTML5 version. You know what? I think we shall download it. There is a bug when opening full screen in WebGL. Please start the game when you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind, never mind. A Windows version. Download now. Name your own price. I can't name my own price because I don't know if I like the game yet. <laughs> 53 uh, megabytes, I think this is okay, because it got graphics and it got sound. Uh, unicorn! Did I hear un Unicorn, there we go. Um, sorry, there we go. I live in Romania, some people say it just the same way. Uh, Preda uh, assures me, so I hope you they don't say it uh, as condescending as I did, but at least it wasn't... I didn't try do it on purpose. <laughs> okay, so where it is? Loopland, there it is. In Arcane Forest, Unholy Echoes, yeah. Like I said, uh, all those games that I've played will be archived with my stream. So if you ever lose your files, chances are that I still have them somewhere on an LTO <laughs> in the future. Loopland! And again we got an icon. And the icon, again, it reminds me of... Okay, so... Is this the game here in this donut there? By the way, I enjoy the music. After morning breakfast, young Wally suffered from a CPU. Okay, so we already know the story here. And really, this is the game. My god, okay, this is very clever. I really like this. AD to move, press E to interact. Did I interact now? I'm not quite sure what it does, but press space or W to jump. Jump! Come on! Okay, so apparently I need to jump with some momentum. Moving platform, move along with it. Okay, so I shall... Boing! Okay, so I'm inside of a loop and this is why everything is looped. This I like very much, I have to say. This is a very clever idea. So, how do I get up there? Maybe there is a platform that I should have taken. <laughs> the good thing is that those platforms don't drop like those uh, donut platforms in the Mario series. There we go! Ah, come on. Okay, so I have to actively move with the platform. This is good to know. And make the jump, yes! Okay, jump on them to kill. Oh my god! This is gruesome, look at... It's leg, it's, it's leg, it's just... It's just tumbling. The good thing is that apparently I don't take any damage when falling. 
I am very fond of this. Maybe I should have stayed up. Yeah, this is what I thought. <laughs> And, right, just some momentum there, there we go, come on, okay, apparently I've missed something, oh, of course, there is the cloud platform, so, like, much of, uh, like, waiting for the bus, I should have waited for the cloud platform, uh, come on, the controls are a bit floaty, there we go, Oh uh, my god, okay, they are way too floaty for me. It's a, it's a, it feels a bit like you're on the moon. Uh, but it's very cute. I have to give you this, the presentation is very cute. Also with the music. The music just is having a good time, right? Probably with some cinnamon flavored cereal. Okay, as I jumped. And there come no I jumped too far. How did this happen? Okay, so Let's give this another try So okay, no yes good good, okay Move with the cloud move with the cloud and jump good Oh my god but look at this donut. I mean, the, the, the design with those white spheres for angry fists. Look at this. It reminds me somehow of the uh, the Cuphead characters, right? Like 1930s animation. Also like that the camera keeps rotating with a sprite or with my character here. This is, this is something else. Okay, should I drop here or should I stay on the platforms? But apparently I can interact if I manage to interact. Okay, I flipped the lever. Now let's push the button. Ah, okay, so this is what it does. And should have jumped there. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's really a bit hard getting used to the camera for some reason. But I really enjoy the idea that I'm stuck inside of a loop, literally in this case. And everything is made of torses, torsi, torsi, uh, yeah, of, of circles. Okay, so I probably should jump from this platform then. And I jumped too far, okay. It's very hard to gauge which jump is going to be too far. Because maybe it feels like I don't have enough air control. Maybe this could be it. So, no, okay. Huh. Come on, why don't you... Jump over this one here. Okay, so next attempt. When I think I overshoot, I don't, and when I don't think, I oh no, this was nasty. Okay, let's try to see if yeah, of course there is a wall. I just want to make sure that there really is a wall and that I'm not doing this in vain. <laughs> okay, so far I've having fun but this one cloud platform is a bit overstaying its welcome or not working too well with the controls like I said it's it's a bit too floaty maybe just that the drop is a bit faster would have would have helped I think a bit more okay need to try this again okay no I think what's also throwing me off is that uh, the cloud is moving linearly, like like this, and it's not slowing down, that I know, okay, it's at the end of its path. Okay, 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 finally. Just don't get hit from this. You know what? I will ignore this donut man here. Okay, reset. So I have to... 
Okay, so this was a nice puzzle. Apparently, I've made it at my first attempt. Oh, this is cute. This is very cute. Okay, and now I'm here in the inner circle then. Wow. Okay, so this is getting harder, I would assume. Because also the camera tilt is a bit more problematic. <laughs> So, okay, so there's a countdown then. Is the countdown for the button? Or... Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, so let's try this again. When... Okay, I got three, two, one seconds for something. But I'm not quite sure for what. But, I mean, look at this, they even cast shadows. This is unexpected, I have to say. So, apparently, I think this button is here for this door, right? Okay, so... Hmm. Do I have to hit it twice? Okay, now it's counting. There we go! No! Yes! Oh, I thought this was almost too close, but it worked! Okay, so we're in the inner loop now. So this is... Oh, no. This is... Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of those platforms, I have to say. There we go. Yeah, moving with the platforms. Probably I'm not getting used to that. Okay, so I have the bad feeling that I really have to nail all those jumps there. And now this floaty controls is really problematic there. Come back, Cloud. No! Ugh. Yeah, like I said, the controls are giving me some problems there. No! Hmm. Okay, so I'm back here and no, but hey, oh, okay. I just thought it would have at least thrown me back onto the cloud. But you know what I like about this? No health points. That every time when I interact with an enemy badly, oh God, I overshoot. You know what, maybe I should use this to my advantage and try not to land on the very first platform, but go straight for the second donut pummeler. There we go. Yes, no! Okay, so I thought I could, like in Mario, I could bounce off the enemy. I couldn't. I couldn't. Okay, getting a bit tedious now, okay. No, 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 no. Okay, good. Okay, I probably need to get rid of all those donuts, otherwise they would just push me down. Oh god. Okay, so this inner circle here, uh, this inner ring of this torus makes things much harder. Uh, yep. No. Okay, so uh, there's another sequence then we have to push. But I jumped! Okay. I have no idea about how these uh, things actually work. I mean, what's the... Um, how I need to supposed to be doing them because I just tried out. Okay, so this... Look at this 1970s pimp. Do I need to... Okay, so it's just punching me. Do I need to jump on it? I will try it. But th this looks like some sort of mascot. Okay, so apparently I don't jump on it. 
Frankly, I'm not quite sure what I need to do here. Hmm. I'm a bit at a loss at what I should be doing now. Okay, so this person, donut person is hitting me and this is not good if it is hitting me. But if I jump on it, it also doesn't seem to do anything. Because I'm just get thrown back. Hmm. You might have to jump from higher. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> it's really hard. The good thing is that it's following me around. Huh. Hmm. Lady Mislip says, okay, same sound effect, so you might be hurting him. Because, yeah, there's, I don't, I'm not quite sure if there is any other way of interacting with this thing. So I will just try doing that. Yes, okay, so this helps. And now we the zoom out, and this is the level that we just traversed. Loopland! Okay, so this was, I very much like the idea of these uh, circles where you go uh, smaller and smaller in the circles and in the middle you have the the end fight uh, what i'm not a fan of is uh, the, the the it's a bit too floaty like i said for a platformer i wanted to yeah it's like uh, maybe more gravity i think this would might make things easier and perhaps more air control but then again it's I'm used to Super Mario, and this is usually what I compare all my jump and run experiences with. So yeah, you might take the, please take that with a grain of salt. And finally, yeah, with the end boss, I wasn't quite sure that hitting, that I was doing the right thing when I was jumping on his head. But uh, the other thing is that I liked was um, no hit points. Like, uh, yeah, but the clouds, like I said, if they just slow down when they come to the end, this would have, help me much much more in trying to figure out yeah what <laughs> when to jump or yeah what to do at the right moment essentially but yeah this was loopland and the presentation was super nice and i said that uh, this title screen this thing here reminded me of something and let's try if i can find it normality game um the, the normality cover there Let's view image, copy, save image as, copy image address. I think, yeah, let's do it the old way. It reminded me of this. <laughs> cool. So, uh, highlight by Preda is, thanks a lot for playing and thanks, uh, chat. This was my first platformer, so I messed it up a bit, but I'm glad you managed to finish it. Hey, this was your first platformer. Congratulations, platformers. I've, especially in the 3D space in Unity, so far, personally, I've, I've never attempted to do a proper platformer because it looks easy, but it's so hard getting the controls right. And this is why, personally, I've never really attempted to make a platformer because all I know is in indie game, the movie, I think this was where uh, Tony Refinis said that uh, he just tweaked for weeks and weeks just how Super Meat Boy would feel with lots of special cases uh, where he was just yeah, bouncing off in, in some sort of sandbox level until the controls felt really, really super nice. And then he would start uh, uh, doing all the level designs because you really have to first nail the controls. Otherwise, it's really hard to do the design if you're not quite sure how far your character can jump or how high it can jump and so on and so forth. But for your first uh, platformer, uh, also with this uh, interesting uh, mechanic that you're going inside of a loop. Um, this is very advanced actually, so I um, probably don't know how I would have tackled this. So congratulations. And like I said, the, the, the presentation is super, super cute. And also with the music and the character design, I really liked it. The only thing in terms of the character design is that the main character 
um, looked a bit uh, smurfy in a sense. It didn't quite work with the other characters. I feel visually because the other characters were more like these 1920s, 1930s cartoon characters. And this one here looked a little bit different. But I, I, again, this is just super minor art direction thing. So um, yeah, this is just my, my first thoughts. Yeah, again, uh, yeah, thank you for uh, uh, submitting. And um, yeah, I, I'm just looking at the screen just now. Again, everything is loop themed, which I which I found really cute. Maybe maybe have it even in the grass or maybe a background pattern so that it's just uh, where you think as a player, oh my god, this is probably too much. And then you say yes, and even the end the end enemy is a loop. <laughs> so yeah, it's just uh, um, going uh, all in, even in in I in an ironic fashion. But again, I'm just top of my head, just some random things that pop in there. And um, kind of looked like he came from Earthbound. Oh yes, this is actually true, thanks. This reminded me a lot of the kids in Earthbound. By the way, for those who don't know, I spare you the, uh, what's it, Earthbound. I spare you the necessity to do uh, the Googling yourself. Yes, absolutely. This looks like the kid from Earthbound there. I've never played the game, or Mother, as it's called in Japan. But uh, yeah, the art style is... Now Now I see the similarities in the art style. This is, this is very cool. Well, it, it, it is a kid teleported into another dimension. Yeah, okay, this is true. Yeah, so of course the kid feels out of place. But still, it felt just a little bit off. I don't know why. Like I said, it's it's maybe maybe just a different art style. Just, hmm. again, sorry if, if I'm homing in on this little aspect. It's just something that I've noticed. Yes, um, now I've been streaming for, again, two and a half hours already. And I think I'm through with all my patrons' games. And again, Congratulations to everyone who participated in Ludum Dara and also in, to everyone who finished. And now we know our scores and or how well received our games were. And from what I've learned is that I feel in with my game, I feel a little bit overrated again. So maybe I was just lucky that the right people were in the right set of mind and completely on, I don't know, steroids. Ster steroids? I always want to say is stereo like the stereo audio anyway maybe people were um, much too high on endorphin or anything i don't know why i was rated so well but um you know what i take it i take it but again I, i'm not feeling entirely 100 percent comfortable <laughs> with the rating i got um just wasn't loopy enough huh didn't see enough loops ah <laughs> Prada says in the chat yeah maybe maybe even more loops like i said it's it's because there are loops in everything in your game i would have doubled down and made everything even a bit more loopy like like the trees just stacks of of loops something like this because yeah maybe this is just my sense of humor that it's just over the top even if you think it's over the top then you really get started <laughs> like i said just just first things off the top of my head but yeah overall like i said i like the presentation like the color scheme also because uh, usually uh, when you do something like this yeah friendly skies and lush uh, uh, greens and so on uh, the tendency is to go overly saturated but this is not so this this works very well in in my book also with the yellow and green platforms very 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 nice um, yeah, um, so now that I'm through with all the Ludum Dare uh, uh, things, or, or games at least for now, not all the Ludum Dare things, what's going to happen next on this stream? Let me switch back to the full camera of me, so that you can also see the unicorns in the background. And yes, uh, next week uh, I owe you a playthrough of, well, playthrough it doesn't take that long of my Ludumda 47 game and as always I will do a code review of the game maker code uh, right after it so it's probably going to be a bit a longer stream so uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not taking it in, in, in the wrong way if you uh, drop out early or anything but I think uh, it, it's uh, sometimes nice uh, to have this code review 
not that much of a stream essentially but more in terms of yeah when you download my source code and have no idea what's happening it might be interesting if you have the developer in video form explaining or excusing themselves for the code that they made and where they say yeah this is what it should supposed to be doing and it's doing this in that way and i'm so sorry and please don't look at this code too closely otherwise you might catch something <laughs> something nasty <laughs> so um uh, coca pastic says could it be that i missed you playing my game uh which was your game uh i hope i hope uh, i didn't miss a game there but those ah uh, was this uh are you a patron of mine yes yes no did i miss a patron game like i said the green ones i've played you probably don't see it so here here is the screen again um so the green ones i've played so far so if your game was among my patrons as games i should have played it covid 20 officially found in phil's game oh dear <laughs> covid 20 yeah i think uh every big thing needs a needs a sequel so i'm looking forward to covid 20 now you played all the patron games no worries then i didn't get that oh okay so you your game wasn't a patron's game okay this makes sense yeah again uh, next time with the next ludum dara i will do pretty much the same thing that i did now three streams playing a patron game and one randomly chosen game from all the wonderful people who submitted their game for me to play them and then we will see how many games are still left over and those i will be playing uh, in week number four like i said just just like this time and then finally i will play my game whatever it will turn out to be and do a code review just for people who are curious about my source code and have no idea what is going on just that they know essentially it's it's a probably two hour long documentation of my source code cool okay so um with that being said uh, any other things from me you might be interested in and what things that i've been up to again um i have uh, I'm, I'm, i i think i've seen this each and every stream now that i've had a stressful week but i, I really had um I, i've mentioned this before that uh i'm working as a colorist with red bull and we were two colorists before but one uh quit and we're looking for a replacement and yeah doing all those interviews and looking at people's demo reels and looking at their uh, test projects and talking to them and also doing on top pretty much all the the handling that we used to do uh, in, as two people now everything stops with me so yeah it's, it's been a bit more uh, engaging at work than usually so this is why my personal projects didn't progress as much because when i get home i'm just too exhausted and too tired and all i do is just play an hour or two command and conquer red alert <laughs> and then go to bed but this uh, doesn't mean that i didn't do anything at all it just means that my progress has been slowed down currently on my ludumda 46 post-mortem but um it's coming along i thought uh, i was over 50 percent in terms of the edit but uh, usually this is like uh, i think i've likened it to lines of code when you say yeah um, my program will be 20,000 lines of code and i've written 10,000 lines it really doesn't tell you a lot about the quality of the of, of your code right if it's just 10,000 lines where you unwrapped a loop or something it really doesn't mean much and the same is in terms of my edit when i'm 50 percent through uh, it maybe i i know that yeah there is probably this one bit where it takes me a week to do the 3d graphics and so on and so forth yeah my point being is that i feel now that i'm over the bump where things take really long and i'm very uh, confident um, that i'm be managing to to finish the ludum 46 post-mortem still in this year excuse me um again there's a lot of things that are happening <laughs> with me right now but like i said yeah I'm, I'm i'm very looking very much looking forward to it and the good thing is uh that all the things that i've uh, the, the ideas that i had were yeah maybe i should do a mock-up of a text adventure maybe i also should do a mock-up of 
in strategy game, maybe I should do this as a 3D model and so on and so forth. So all those crazy things where I think, yeah, this is going to be a lot of work. Will people really appreciate it? And thanks to you, I know it that people will appreciate it. And this is why I really spend so much time into all this minimal or minimalist or min minuscule, what's, what's the term? Those details you probably would overlook, but since I know all of you uh, that uh, really look at those little details, it's it's a pleasure for me to, to put them in and for you to discover. So yeah, this is how it, things are going with the Ludum Dial 46. In parallel, I've started with the script on Ludum Dial 47, because I'm still emotionally close to it. So uh, yeah, it's right now it's just writing down the entire experience and then doing passes over the script so that it's, it gets a, a dimensional length. And of course, I got plans for the next Ludum Dara. Um, like I said, my games aren't as fun. Usually I try to make it fun as soon as I'm done with the polishing. And my, at least my plans right now for the next Ludum Dara is to really try to make a game fun. To really do the research in what is a fun game. Play the, the games that were rated high highest rated in fun of previous Ludum Dars and really try to make a game that's fun for once and not just a game that's that's moody because that I think I know now. <laughs> so yeah again this is in very broad terms of how things are with me right now. Of course I will always do the Sunday stream which is a lot of fun for me and I'm eternally grateful that still so many people it's still nine viewers who are watching me just ramble on about games and such so yeah the sunday streams will continue of course the ludum da postmortems will continue of course my games whenever i get the chance to i will tinker on those as well because with the yeah my ludum da 47 game anomaly 47 i think i still want to 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 make a finished little experience out of this where yeah to, just to tie up all those loose ends that I hinted at in in the in the Aludendal game, essentially, yeah, just just make it without the time constraints to really wrap everything up and make it a full game experience that also looks nice, sounds a bit nicer, is a little bit longer. Maybe this time anomaly, I will try to find ways that it's not as annoying that you have to start over each time because you've really seen me bitch about your games if you made me start over and over again. So I want to at least to avoid this in my game or make it not as bad because otherwise I would be quite a hypocrite criticizing it in everyone else's games. But my game, wow, this would be, <laughs> would be the top, the cherry on top of all things that are bad. So this is at least my plan that this is not going to happen. Okay, um, let's have a look at the chat because again, I'm sorry that I've neglected the chat. So if you really want my attention right now, uh, just add me as Pixel Prophecy in the chat. So the chances are good that I stop in the middle of my sentence and read what you've written. Um, you played all the Patreon games, no worries then. Uh, yeah, this was Coca Pastake. I'm good at coloring between lines. <laughs> just taking a friendly jab, you know. Uh, uh, I know you do more than that. Yeah, I'm, I'm just coloring in the lines. This is what I do as a colorist. Um, the thing with colorist is, uh, as a job description is, I share the same job description with uh, comic book artists who are also colorists that really do color in the, the line art, the, the ink art. And of course, it's just more than coloring in. It's, it's really setting a scene, setting a mood through colors. And the other thing is hairstylists who also do coloring of, of uh, and dyeing of hairs of hairs of hair <laughs> and uh, it happened I think once or twice to me when someone said what do you do as a job and I said well I'm, I'm a colorist and said ah cool my cousin is too at, at which barbershop do you work at so it's it's sometimes it's really fun the overlap between those and Preda says I want your attention yes and with a Bob Ross icon of course with a Bob Ross emote oh, you always get my attention because I like those happy little trees of his and yes, if you want to outsource your overload of coloring work to your patrons, could get some fun results. Yes, yeah, says uh, Red Hermit. And this, I think I've seen this in one, uh, this is really hard if I recall it because it's so far back, but there was one film, it's a, it's a short film, where each still frame was painted by a different artist but uh, it was an animation, right? And so you would have those uh, completely different styles, but there was a very smooth 
person walking or talking ah, really hard it's really hard for me to recall this but uh, it looked amazing so um the more usually you say uh, uh, too many cooks spoil the broth but sometimes it's exactly this kind of wonderful thing that happens when there are too many people working on something and then in the end it comes out probably not really good but incredibly interesting and sometimes with Ludum Dara especially if you have a, a very big uh, team sometimes I feel that the outcome it might not be the best game but it's it's a damn interesting game and I'm always for more for games that try to do something that are super interesting in their own way than to do everything by the book and in the end you say yeah that's that's a credible effort and it plays exactly like you would intend it but there's nothing more to it so this is also why yeah, why I like indie games because this is really where you find the innovation where you find the ideas where you find the 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 daring people who really try to do something that no one else has done and even if someone else has done it they give it their own twist and yeah i think this is the most interesting uh, that our medium of video games has currently to offer so okay now I'm, I'm completely off i'm not off on a tangent the tangent is long behind me and now i'm just completely off the rails somewhere in the void floating around just stream of consciousness brain mouth not going through the neocortex or anything it's just idea mouth so this is the internet in other words <laughs> i probably should wrap this up okay uh yes in the indie zone says space monkey and i think this is a good place for all of us to be in the indie zone where things are bubbling the laboratory instruments are chirping around us and in some way all of us have sooner or well have earlier had the experience with our first game where we can all shout it's alive and i think this is the best thing when you make indie games the first game that you really finish in a sense where you say it's alive and once you're in there you never stop right it's 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 a drug but in the best sense of way and the cool thing about indie games is this community this wonderful community of hobbyist game devs who we're all just trying to figure things out as a community and it, this is, is just something that's really nice Alrighty then make daddy proud yes exactly it's <laughs> this is when you when you put your game out on the big stage of ludum dara and you think you've made the best game there and you just want to make daddy proud and we all know what happens then and if you don't know please watch the post-mortem of thanks for nothing but my guess is that all 13 viewers well not all of them but most of you have already seen this <laughs> where this leads to and what your game does when you feel it's ready for consumption and nobody's tested it and of course it's not what happens then pumpkins get kicked off the screen <laughs> exactly this is also so fun when you see someone else play your game who hasn't been involved in any way in the development you think everything is super clear with your game there is nothing that could go wrong with it and then you watch a person play the game and in the first three seconds they do something where you go wait what H how this is no you broke it and this i think is also a really as a developer this is you torn between my god this is hilarious and oh my god i want to die because i'm so embarrassed that this my game is just soiling itself in front of everyone essentially so we are with those uh, food for thought yeah this is not the metaphor is not working at all so yeah let's 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 try to end it on a different note spooky greetings one day after halloween but i mean it's still it's still 2020 so the entire year is just a huge preparation for halloween everything is spooky and crazy and creepy and so this is also a bad note to end things on you know what i will just get my unicorns there by the way finished my water there and i will say Whatever you are up to, the unicorns will be by your side and will make all of your uh, uh, creative endeavors come to, a, to, to fruition in the best way possible. And I think this is the mindset I want to end the stream on. Again, thank you so much for dropping by, for watching me ramble and play your games and be very bad at this and then give my two cents that are completely 
off the mark because you already know this or I'm getting things entirely wrong. I want to apologize for this. Then again, I hope it was interesting. I hope it was entertaining. And with that, let me get the right slide there. With that, I want to wish you a wonderful remaining Sunday. And there's someone in the chat. It's Red Hermit who says, great stream and great games all. Looking forward to the next LD. Yes, great stream. Mm, great games. Absolutely. The big 48 that matches the 48 hours. So Kaz is doing something special, I think. Thanks, Pixel Prophet. Yeah, I'm very, very curious about, uh, for those who don't know, Mike Kasperzak, Kas Mike has uh, said that there will be probably some changes for the big 48, but he didn't say anything. And my money is on that it's probably going to be uh, just one it's not going to be a combo or jam anymore. I think this is what's going to happen. It's just 48 hours for or 72 hours for everyone. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> Again, so yeah, either way, I need to wrap this up now. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week. The unicorns are incredibly cuddly today. Still got some coffee to finish. And I wish you a great week and see you next Sunday. Bye.